Hello dear friends, it's ABC of Successful Brands and Anna Anika Jida. To continue our tradition covering winter holiday celebration, I would like to present you today the Winter Carnivals, the fifth season of the year. That's the official name of costume balls in Europe. A tradition to host winter carnivals has massively developed by the end of the 19th century and has been widely spread to the territories professing Christianity. Carnival celebrations are mostly common in countries with a large Catholic makeup. The meaning behind this festivity that takes place immediately before Lent is not only masquerade operate with elements of a soccer show, but it's an event that covers public withdrawal from eating meat during the Lenten period. If we turn to Italian word carnevale or French carnaval, we can easily get the meaning, since carne translates as meat and vale as farewell. So Carnival is traditionally an event that celebrates the last day of festivities before refraining from eating meat, drinking wine and consuming rich foods for the period of six weeks directly before Easter. Carnival is an equivalent to the Russian festivity called Maslinitsa that takes place during Yuletide when mummers dressed in costumes go from house to house singing carols. The homeowners in their turn treat their special guests with sweets and confection. Today, many cities around the world organize similar festive processions and performances, but yet the most famous among them are considered Brazilian Carnival in Rio de Janeiro and Italian in Venice. The history of the Venetian Carnival has pagan roots. It has existed for more than 900 years. In 1296, the Senate of the Venetian Republic proclaimed last day before Lent a holiday. In order for secular prejudices to not interfere with the fun, people of different social classes wore masks to equalize the differences. Thus, masks became mandatory attributes of the carnival. Masks and carnival costumes were hiding the true faces of its owners, letting them do whatever they desired, notwithstanding their titles and high society positions, and without considering the consequences. Venetian masks have become so popular that they were worn at all times. There were cases when masks were used as a disguise to commit crimes. The state of affairs has led the church to limit the use of Venetian masks. In 1608, a law was published in Venice stating that men were sentenced to a fine and two years in prison for wearing Venetian masks outside the carnival period, and women were publicly flogged on the square rods. The irrepressible spirit of flirting and infidelity, the desire of freedom and the expectation of exciting adventures attracted aristocracy from all over Europe to this masquerade. But in 1797 the French troops occupied Italy and Napoleon banned the Venetian carnival. However, after the Second World War, Venice became one of the top tourist destinations in Europe. A lot of hotels, cafes and restaurants were opened in the city. But unfortunately, they didn't have visitors during the winter season. That's why, by the end of the 20th century, the idea to revive the legendary carnival was brought back to life. Today, carnival is a pure tourist attraction that lost its former spiritual value. This magnificent event attracts sponsors, cultural institutions and television networks. The entire city transforms into a theatrical platform during this grand festivity. This performance has no interruptions. It's a non-stop show without intermission. A spectacular Venetian carnival ends with parade, fireworks and ceremonial burning effigy symbolizing winter. Afterwards, the church bells ring through the city, announcing the beginning of Lent. When there is still snow in Europe, sunny Latin America is also on the eve of carnival. Brazil is a country of sun and dreams. The most famous carnival in the world takes place here, in Rio de Janeiro. A tradition to host these activities was brought to Brazil by European colonizers. During the festivities, all the country institutions and offices are closed, since it's almost a national holiday. Samba Drome is a specially designed venue for hosting Rio's carnival. It is a unique three-story structure that is 2,624 feet long and 42 feet wide. Dozens of award-winning samba schools are dancing in front of the samba drums public. And it's not an improvised show, it's a well-rehearsed theatrical procession. A strict jury judges the costumes and decorations of the platforms, as well as the artistry of performers. Half-naked beautiful dancers in short skirts and luxury costumes are showing off their slim bodies. It is a spectacular event that represents the spirit of the country at its best. The scope of Brazilian carnival is impressive. The whole country is dancing to the samba drums beat, drinks, flirts and is having fun. Brazil attracts hundreds of tourists from around the world to this dynamic celebration. It is one of the craziest holidays in the world. After a week of revelry, Brazilians will go back to their normal life of exemplary Catholics. 
The colors of the carnival and the designers' creativity during the event are marvelous. African culture brought by slave traders to Brazil has a significant impact on the style of the carnival costumes. An important part of the outfits are feathers, grass, bones and beads that in a way resemble the primeval dresses. Carnivals nowadays have turned into an entire entertainment industry that thoroughly replenishes the country's budget. It is a pure business. The prices for hotels, souvenirs, meals and even bottled water go off scale. But if you're tired of drab existence, it's time for you to have fun and go to Carnival. And who said that winter lacks bright celebrations? It was Anna Onika Judan.